Hello, welcome. This is me back again, Kyle Calloway, just giving you insight on topics that I deem need to be talked about. Today, I'm retouching up just basically on how I view the rap game nowadays. The rap game is in a bad space right now because of the type of artistry that's involved. Yeah, I'm not going to criticize a person of how they get paid or, you know what I'm saying, if it's legal, you know what I'm saying, I can't judge. But the content that is out here nowadays is kind of bad. It's not interesting. It's not attracting it's not addicting it's recycled it's reused you can't replay it all over again you don't feel a message from the records you hearing um everything is almost like a freak show it's like a circus act it's like a jungle gym if you put it um you need substance in everything Cause everything does follow for instance even gospel rap sounds like what's going on in a in a rap game and that's bad it's real real bad you have to put substance even in God's word cause the message won't be taken seriously um it's watered down it's um It's oversaturated with nonsense. You can't even focus on what they're talking about because it's all the same. And every artist sounds the same. Every artist. The artistry has been taken out of content. I remember the time when rappers wouldn't let you even do that. Uh, I'm my goal cuz I'm trying to get into the radio, media broadcasting media. I'm trying to bring back that talent, that feeling to where we hear a record sit with you, you can replay it over and over and over and over again and hear different things in the record that you didn't hear from the first time. Music is supposed to be therapeutic for the mind, for the soul. It's not therapeutic at all. I sit back and I ask myself, Well, what has the world come to with people don't respect talent no more? Now, I'm not judging and criticizing nobody, but they really do need to put some substance in their music. It's all bad, sto- it's all bad stories. It's like the villains getting treated like the heroes. You know what I'm saying? It's like you sh- you shoot a person, and then you live happily ever after. You s- You drink lean. And you live happily ever after. They don't talk about the consequences if you kill somebody. What that would do to a family. How would that damage you as a person? How would that damage you as a a human being? How would that mess with your mind, your conscience, if you do lean? They don't talk about the consequences, the risk you might going to you might destroy your organs you might become an addict you might need to go to rehab you might you might kill yourself younger than you supposed to pass and that's what's the problem with this new music
It don't you don't feel nothing from it. You don't learn nothing from it. And I don't want to be in a rap game because certain areas you have to know. Like if you in the if if you in the if you are a rapper and a person if you say oh, yeah I'm I'm trying to be a rapper such and such such and such and they ask you to freestyle. And you look at them like they crazy because they ask you to freestyle. You are trying to be a rapper. Why do you want to freestyle? They going to think in their mind, this person can't rap. This person ain't talking about nothing. Because he can't show off his skills. And singing, if you tell them that you don't want to sing a song right now, they're going to deem you as being a terrible singer. How I'm supposed to know if you're a singer or you a good singer if I can't hear you sing? If I can't hear you hit a freestyle spit, how I'm know you're going to be saying some some important words to connect me to your artistry? Just how, just how, just, 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 just put it in your mind, in everybody's perspective. You can't go in nothing, think you're going to get it big time and just play it safe. No, you're going to have to take some bumps and bruises. You got to know the rules of such of a thing before you jump into it. Nobody ain't forcing you push you up against the wall to get in this business you decided to get in this business that's your problem when you step in something and you don't have your brain focused to the point that anything can happen people could Cause me out. We we sound the same, but we don't talk about the same. And they might think you biting their style. And they might call you out. They might say that such and such biting my style. He's a poser. He's an imposter. But not put that in hand. That it is some decent MCs out here that's hungry. Then uh, and then some of the, some of the experienced MCs is not hungry no more. We need to push some more MCs in the game that will help the game ex, ex, um, extend more and have more longevity. Longevity need to be talked about. And then if you if you perform these weird songs that you out here in the game, when you get older. Your mind ain't going to be on that anyway. The way you were then is going to be different. Five years, after five years, your mind wasn't even, it's not on the same thing it was five years previous to where it was at. When you jump into a business like this, you have to have thick skin. You have to be strong. You have to have endurance. You have to have a bold, boisterous personality. You gotta, you can't just bite your tongue and hold your tongue. Because the check is right. The check. Ain't, or the check ain't right. Can't sell yourself for a buck. You have to actually have some morals and standards some rules, some self-respect, some self-pride. If you want to step in any business, especially the hip-hop business, you got to look out for the vultures who's coming to take your income in half. You got to have some insight on what you're stepping into. Got to be a reason why you get on the mic. You just can't get on the mic just to say 
any craziness because you think you can and you can lighty gally goosey gag and think that's going to get your respect of, as an MC. No. No. And ain't nothing in my mind. Some people take offensive if it's, if you ghost, if you have a ghostwriter. No, nothing ain't wrong with having a ghostwriter. But don't try to take Don't try to take credit for something that you did not write. I'm not calling out nobody. I'm just saying rules if you want to be in a business like this. I'm trying to be in a podcast. My main goal is substance. I want to let you, I want to let that sink in, substance. Like, I know I say that more than one time. I'm I'm hard on substance. I'm a hard critic for a good story. Cliffhanger, a hooker that hooks you in. It's just the industry ain't the same like it's supposed to be. It's weak. All the stuff talking about drugs. What about you could talk about politics, put that in your talking about how the government and the president is failing us. How racism is at its all time high. Also Know your boom ears. I repeat, know your boom ears. Know when you are going to become hot. Know when it's your time to shine. Don't step out here and be half cop. When you step in something and you're not passionate about it, and passion is another thing, you tend not to like it and deal for it for the wrong reasons and deal with certain stuff that isn't of you. You start to wonder why you upset. You start to not like it and be miserable in something that something, anything that you jump into. You're not supposed to feel like work. You're supposed to feel like fun. You're supposed to be happy every time you go to it. Know the business that you're getting into. Also, um, the rap game needs hungry MCs. It needs hungry MCs. July 6, 2018. I don't see any substance. I saw this crazy. I foresaw this back in 2009. When the rap game was going through its weird phases, you had different artists coming out there. You know what I'm saying? You had your one hit Bobby dance. You know what I'm saying? People come out, try to revamp themselves. You know. It's good if you get one hit. If you could get one hit. Some people don't get a hit at all. But if you could get one hit, that's amazing. But if you could have timeless pieces of project, that's another thing. Your music has to be timeless. Your th- Your music has to outlive you. Your music... Has to set, have to change lives. A person got to come up to you and like, ooh, such and such. I really mess. I liked your music. It got me through a hard time. It got me through depression, stress, bad breakup, bad relationship. Got me out the streets. Got me out of this, that, third. It got you out of a hard, difficult situation.